Hi everyone, welcome back. We continue on this list and today we are going to learn about normalized function. This function is very important to learn because in most of the cases we are going to need this normalized function. For example, in my previous videos we are always talking about we cannot show flawed type of images in Imshow. But there is a way of course, you can directly um, change the range so you can normalize the flawed type of image to let's say 8-bit image and you can show it with Imshow. At least you can get an idea how this flawed type of image looks like by uh, converting it to a 8-bit with the help of normalized function. This is one of the cases for example. Also in the same cases uh, maybe you have a dark image or you have really bright image and you need to change the range of the image you can still use this normalized function. This is really useful function and I'm sure all of you are gonna need uh, this function in some way okay um, usage is very easy just you are getting you are giving as input array you are giving your source image source mat and destination image is gonna give you as result and alpha and beta is just minimum and the maximum value we can call for now we are gonna more clearly understand in the code part and normalize type default in norm l2 but in here i think uh, there are other type of normalization um, the most famous one I can say this norm min max also I want to continue my example with this one the other some details maybe you can check in your cases but uh, we are gonna continue norm min max maybe norm relative also um, destination type you can decide if you don't if you make this empty default in minus one which is meaning that the destination type is gonna be same with the source type so also you can specify the target coordinates which you want to apply normalized function. Um, okay, here some formulas, but the understanding is very easy. So I will not mention about these formulas. I will just uh, directly show the result and how it's calculated. Simply I can show also. Okay, this is the example from the previous video. Um, we don't need to output anymore and uh, okay we can use lena image at the end maybe but for starting uh, we can start with a simple example to understand how this is working and this can be input one is equal to um let's create a mat so we can let's start with unsigned chart so uh, we can understand more easily for start then we can also make an example with the flow type of mat uh, let's start with three by three after that we can assign our pixel values let's start with 20 10 5 and the next one sorry oh better doing like this so we can understand the coordinates also coordinates of the pixels more clearly so we can compare accordingly okay and let's say 100 100 don't wanna 25 2 okay and the last one let's make faster 55 24 and 12 okay now this is done we created our input mat so we can call our normalize function and here we are gonna put our input one and destination let's make destination better and this is gonna be destination this is gonna be input one and uh, okay destination the alpha value we can call the minimum value which you want to set the ranges ranges of your output image so we can uh, for starting 0 to 255 which is representing the limitations of the 8-bit channel images so we can start with this one then we can change and we can see the uh, we can compare also okay but firstly we can start with these limitations and after that uh, norm min max will be easy to understand for starting okay then i think we are done since this unsigned chart we didn't define the type destination type so it's gonna take the type of the source okay let's see the result uh, yes this is the input this is the output so how this function is working um since we set the limitations 0 255 so the maximum value in our input image which is 55 is gonna be 255 and the minimum value which is 2 is gonna be representing 0 in this case so other ranges for example 50 
it's gonna be close to 255 so there is of course a uh, calculation which uh, which is shown in the formula in the in the OpenCV library page but uh, in here you can also uh, get an idea because this is just a ratio there is a ratio between 255 and 55 and there is a ratio also 2 and 0 so according to this ratio is also calculating the other pixel values so yeah for example 10 is becoming 38 yeah so according to the numbers is just uh, setting the range setting the new ranges and giving you the output image uh, for example if you uh, set this let's say 200 it's gonna set the image accordingly to that range you see the news so the minimum now is 200 which is representing the pixel value 2 okay this is the first one uh, this is we, we learned how it looks like but in most of the case we need this function at least in my cases I use this function to get an idea how my float type of image looks like let's say you are gonna get these kind of images and just add a zero maybe to the beginning or one 2.2 and 3.12 0 0.25 0 0.5 let's say 5.55 okay uh, okay like this is okay um now what i wanna is this is float type and i'm giving as input if i don't change anything it's gonna give me a destination image in the float type so i cannot visualize visualize that i can maybe see out to the console so i can see how it looks like okay let's see the result yes since this is flawed so i cannot get an idea now but it's already normalized and this is the result how can i see in the output i wanna that uh, to be in 8 bit and one channel image this is the destination type so now i can at least visualize it also Yes, this is output one. Since the input one is um, input one is just float type, we still see in this case. But uh, at least is converted. Maybe we can say 0 0.9 become one, and according to minus two becoming zero because the closest one is zero. Also, I mean the minimum one becoming zero. And now I have a float type. I cannot im show that but uh, at least by converting to uh, unsigned chart type of image and also by normalizing it at least i can get an idea how my float type of mat looks like this is another case maybe i can use this function um lastly we can uh, use this with a real image let's put our image to here okay and I don't need to put this because it's already three channel so destination can take the same type and the same channel number um, let's remove this for now input is gonna be image and if you do this like this uh, I believe nothing is gonna change let's see oh, because we are see out it's little slow clean here yes um, this input this output so this lena image i believe already is uh, between 0 and 255 at least i hope there is some 255 inside i don't think anything changed so it's almost the same image but if you make this let's say 50 i i expect it's gonna be more bright you see because also here you see the rgb values you cannot see any value under 50 if you check the maximum maybe you can get 50 but the all of the values will be small uh, bigger than 50 pixel value so we are uh, in a real image it looks like this also if you make this um I say 100 so it's gonna set the uh, new mat new destination in a uh, short range maybe it's gonna the it's, it's gonna lose the details as in the output as you can see um yes this is another case also you can make very dark this lena image by doing this 
you can see also this so normalized function has many functionalities inside you can use for many cases even uh, brightness we already learned in previous videos how um, how we are brightening the images but with normalize also you can do it also uh, you can set the ranges with histogram equalization we already learned how it's working but normalize function also in some way can uh, can uh, give you an option to change the histogram equalization of an image because it's just setting the ranges right and uh, also float type of we already talked I'm sure you are gonna need this function and for this video I just wanted to talk simply how this is working. See you in the next videos.